Hello. This is Richard White with an example of how to write a Java program using one of our homework assignments from Chapter 5 in Kai Horstman's Java Concepts for AP Computer Science. For this assignment, we're going to be writing a program that solves quadratic equations. I'm going to be using the BlueJ IDE to write and test a method called quadratic equation. A bit later, a bit later in this course, we're going to be designing our own classes and methods, but at this point we're just working on following someone else's specifications. And in many assignments, careful reading of the problem will provide you with most of the clues you need to write the program. Here I've copied the specification and pasted it into the javadoc comment at the beginning, where I'll be able to easily consult it while we're solving the problem. This first paragraph describes the tester program, or the program that's going to be running our class. We're not going to be concerning ourselves with this particular tester at this point. We're just going to be writing the class. But I'm taking note of some of the highlights there. They've described the discriminant. Here is what I'm really interested in, the quadratic equation class. And I've been given instructions on how to create a constructor, as well as a few methods that I'm going to be including. As I'm looking at the constructor here, I'm taking note of what variables I'm going to need to keep track of, because I'll need instance variables for those. It looks like I have the coefficients a, b, and c that I'll be using to construct my quadratic equation. So I'm creating private double variables for those. I'm also going to be using a private double variable for the discriminant, which it looks like I need to keep track of. Now how do I actually go about constructing the object? This is something that will be created by the test program using the new command. The parameters that I'm having come in when I construct this equation are a, b, and c. So I'm including at param values in my Java doc. Here I'm putting those explicit parameters in the constructor, and I'm going to need to set those explicit parameters to my instance variables. Java will be confused if I use a equals a, b equals b here, so I'm going to use the this construction to make sure that those variables, a, b, and c, are the instance variables, as opposed to the explicit parameters coming in via the constructor. I'm also going to calculate the discriminant as long as I'm at it here. I'll be using the discriminant later on in the program, so I'm going to go ahead and calculate that here. I could use the math.pow function for powers, but I'm just going to use b squared here, b times b. And I don't need to have parentheses here, but I'm going to put them in anyway just to make it a little bit more clear. I don't need the, uh, the method down here at the bottom. It's just going to confuse the compiler. So I'm going to go ahead and compile this now and see if I've got any syntax errors. I'm also going to go ahead and run the program or run the class, create an instance of the class to see what it looks like and make sure it's working more or less the way I want it to at this point. And then I'll inspect that. I'll take a look at the values that are in there. And it looks like it's working more or less like I want it to. So let's go back and take a look at some of those methods now that we've been instructed to write here. It looks like there's a get solution one and get solution two that I'm going to be writing at some point. But in reading this, it also looks like those methods depend upon finding out whether or not the equation actually has some solutions. So I'm looking down here at the has solutions description, and it looks like that's going to be um, appropriate for me to write next. So let me go ahead and write that method. This is going to be a Boolean method. It's going to return true if there are solutions and false if there aren't any solutions. And it, and it will base that recognition on the sign of the discriminant, which I've already calculated. So this should be really easy to write. I don't have any parameters coming in, so I don't have any at param that I need to include in the Java doc. But I am going to be returning a value here.
It looks like that's all I need for this particular method. I'm pretty confident in what I've written here, so I'm just going to quickly check it for syntax errors by compiling it. Uh, but I'm not actually going to test it at this point. I'm going to go ahead and proceed on to the next methods. So I'm going to double check up here again real quickly. Get solution 1 and get solution 2. Get solution 1 is going to have the smaller of the two solutions. And I'll return either the solution or 0 if no solution exists. And it looks like I can use that has solutions method to figure that out. So this also should be really easy to write now that I've got the has solutions boolean method already written. So let me write the Java doc here. Again, no explicit parameters coming in, so I'm not going to have any at param in the Java doc there, but I am going to be returning a value there, so I'll need to specify that in the Java doc at return. And these are going to be double methods. They'll be returning a double value based on the calculation of these coefficients. And I'm going to be careful with my parentheses here because if I don't include the parentheses, I might get the math wrong. Taking the square root of the discriminant, negative b, remember it's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So since get solution 1 is going to be the smaller, I'm using negative b minus for the math.square root. And if it doesn't have solutions, of course, I'll return the 0. I'm going to compile this to make sure it works and then. I could test this, but get solution 2 is going to be very easy to write uh, now that I've written get solution 1. So I'm just going to copy paste and change a couple of items here. Negative b plus the square root. And it looks like this is more or less ready to go. I'll compile it one more time. And then I'm going to run this. I'll see what it looks like. I'll construct an example equation here with coefficients 2, 0, and negative 2. I can inspect those values and make sure it's working the way I want it to. I can try out has solutions, which is true, and I can get these solutions, and it looks like these are just what I'm expecting. So it looks like I'm more or less done with the program. I'm in good shape, this class anyway. The class looks like it's good. The last thing I'll need to do then is to actually create some test cases and write a small program that will create quadratic equation objects and interact with them. Hope this helps.